Where many were, but few remain of old familiar things, but seeing them to mind again, the lost and absent brings. Abraham Lincoln wrote those words 175 years ago about his childhood home, but he might as well have been describing life in the nation's capital today. How long will this new normal last? The answer in part comes from knowing how long those who have recovered from COVID-19 will be immune, and scientists currently don't know if people can show COVID symptoms months after seemingly recovering. I think that we're just going to be dealing with that sort of cyclical back and forth sort of dance for several months, if not years. Anna Carroll works for CSIS, the Center for Strategic and International Studies, a D.C. think tank that last October predicted a coronavirus pandemic. CSIS's latest paper warns of a worst-case scenario. Immunity for those who recover from COVID-19 could only last for months. A vaccine could take years to discover and deploy, and our lives don't return to an old normal for the foreseeable future. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Greer. It's a pleasure to meet you. Same to you. We gathered some families by video chat and asked them what questions they have for the experts studying this new normal after stay-at-home orders are lifted, but before a coronavirus vaccine is distributed. Hector Falchetti's once busy commute across Maryland, now a drive through quiet streets. Falchetti is an essential worker. He fixes and replaces old building elevators. So, you know, I, I often think like, okay, do I have to maintain and keep masks and hand sanitizer on me all the time? It's gonna be a part of my everyday routine. Uh, do I have to distance myself all the time? According to Anna Carroll, the answer to Hector's question is yes. In the workplace, I think that there is going to be expanded teleworking for folks who can telework. And I think that when they begin to let people back into offices, um, there's going to be fewer people in, in given areas. Um, there will There may be things like plastic barriers in between people where in, there used to be open workspaces. Devin Walker is mother to two young daughters. They're not afraid of taking a plane to Israel as they planned. It is what comes after. Let's say there was social distancing on the airplane. I feel like I would still travel and be forced to sit in a hotel and order curbside. So it's like, I don't feel like I would really get to enjoy the city that we were going to visit as much. Carol foresees global travel crackdowns at airports and quarantine requirements until a vaccine is deployed. International travel, unfortunately, is going to continue to pose a risk of reimportation of the virus. And CSIS believes the Walker's usual plans at the Capital One Arena this year will be canceled to prevent spreading the virus in crowds. Things like going to concerts, going to large sporting events. Those are not going to happen the way they used to, I think, until there is a vaccine. CSIS predicts this future for Walker's children at school. Much more hand washing, fewer teachers to group of students. They're sitting further apart. Even when they play together, they're encouraged to play in small groups. I'd rather not have a graduation and prom than brisk you know, other people's lives. So. High school senior Maritza Falchetti's future is also on hold. She's expecting to begin freshman year at Georgia State University this fall. So far, they're saying the dorms will still be opening up, but depending on like how this turns out within the next two months, then there is a possibility of online school. As Hector Falchetti works on elevators inside increasingly empty buildings, he wonders just when he can begin enjoying the life he and most of us recently enjoyed. Definitely just being able to walk anywhere at any given time and, and, and do anything. You know, you want to stop in somewhere and have a drink or if you want to go sit down and have a meal, um, just all those interactions. So I think in restaurants, you know, they've talked about spacing out tables um, so that you're not interacting with as many people. I think that there's going to be much more of an emphasis on meeting outside in the fresh air where possible rather than in sort of closed and confined spaces. Where many were, but few remain of old familiar things. But there is a hope that one day soon we'll know what life brings.